Bicycling can be a lot of fun, good exercise, and a fine way to go places. But you must know the rules of safe riding and stick to them, or you will find it can also be very dangerous. The first step is to have your bike in good mechanical repair. The brakes are most important. When operating correctly, they will lock the wheel and skid the tire. For easier and safer riding, tires should be inflated to the recommended pressure. Broken or missing spokes will cause your wheels to go out of alignment. They should be replaced promptly. A broken spoke can be dangerous too. It may lock around a fork causing you to take a bad spill. Handlebars should be approximately as wide as your shoulders for the best control of your bike under all conditions. When they are too wide, the bike is harder to manage and turning is awkward. In an emergency, a sharp turn with handlebars this wide would be impossible. Your handlebars and hand grips should occasionally be checked for tightness. Hold the front wheel between your knees, then pull the handlebars from side to side and up and down to be sure it is firmly attached. If it is loose, tighten it by using a wrench on the adjustment lug. For easier riding, adjust the seat high enough so that when your foot is on the pedal, your knee will be slightly bent. Be sure that your foot pedals are in good condition. And oil them occasionally. Never ride a bike with pedals in this condition. Your foot can very easily slip off, causing a spill, or you may gouge your leg on the bare metal. Lubrication on a bicycle is just as important as on an automobile, but the only points on which you should put a few drops of oil are the pedals, the brake, and the chain. The axles and steering assembly are packed in grease. They should be repacked at least once a year by a qualified person. You should have a warning device on your bike, either a bell or a horn. It's a requirement in most cities. Now, if your bike is properly licensed, let's go out and have our first lesson in safe riding. Even a short trip to the store for mom can be dangerous if you don't keep your mind on your riding. Always stop and look up and down before riding out onto the street. Approach intersections cautiously. When slowing down or stopping, hold your left arm outward and down, signaling your intention so the car behind you will have time to stop. If the intersection is controlled by a stop sign, always come to a complete stop. And make sure the way is clear in both directions before crossing. Crossing intersections controlled by signals is very hazardous, especially if you are making a left turn. The safest procedure is to dismount, wait for the signal, and walk your bike across in the pedestrian lane. When you have the opposite side, again wait for the signal before crossing. When turning in traffic, give the correct arm signals. For a right turn, hold your left arm out with your forearm straight up. A left turn signal is given by holding your left arm straight out. Always give your signals in plenty of time 
then anyone following will know what you mean to do. When passing a slow-moving car, first make sure the way is clear. Then give a left turn signal and pass to the left. Never pass to the right. The car may suddenly turn into a parking space or around the corner. Many children are injured or even killed in this way. Always be on the alert for the unexpected. Ride on the right side of the street, but allow enough clearance in case someone should open a car door. Remember, an automobile is not as maneuverable as a bike. Don't swerve in and out of traffic. Follow a straight course and avoid doing the unexpected. Be extremely careful when passing parked cars. It's difficult for the motorist to see you, especially when he's parked diagonally. Park your bike as near the curb as possible. If you don't have a stand, lean it up against a tree or a post where it will be out of the way. Never lay your bike down where it will block the way or where someone may fall over it. It's thoughtless as well as dangerous. Don't carry bundles in your arms when riding. Provide yourself with a basket or a rack so your hands will be free to signal and to control your bike. Watch out for changing road surfaces. A newly graveled roadway can cause a skid. Riding over car tracks at too sharp an angle will throw you off balance. Cross streetcar tracks at a right angle. Some localities permit riding on the sidewalk in residential zones. However, you must be careful and sound the warning when approaching anyone near the sidewalk. If the person is on the sidewalk, dismount, Walk your bicycle around them, then go right ahead with your ride. Don't be a bicycle hitchhiker. An unexpected turn or stop can mean sudden death. Riding two on a bicycle spells double trouble. You can't see or balance yourself with the efficiency you need for safe travel. Your passenger may stick his heel in the spokes, wrecking the wheel and spilling both of you. Or the pedal may catch in the cuff of his pants, throwing you off balance. Don't ride your bike on the school grounds. You may injure some of the other children at play. And above all, never be a show-off. It just doesn't pay. A bicycle riding at night is extremely hazardous. If you are wearing dark clothing, it's almost impossible for the motorist to see you. Always wear white or light-colored clothing. Then drivers will have a much better chance to see you. A coat of white enamel will make your bike stand out clearly against a dark background. The few patches of white on the average bike don't stand out enough for quick identification. Even though your bike may have a headlight and reflectors, don't depend on the other fellow seeing you. The best rule for riding at night is consider yourself invisible and ride a coin.